So, we move on to Liverpool at the Emirates Stadium tomorrow night, the 22nd of December. Now, let's hope that Arsenal Football Club and all the fucks that play for it don't ruin Christmas. Because that's the last thing we need is to be going into Christmas with a loss and a heavy one. But, who knows what Arsenal will turn up. I don't, you don't, nobody fucking does. One week we're good, next week we're shit. Who knows? Anyway, I'm sure we're going to find out tomorrow. Now, Liverpool this season, um, banging goals in for fun. Fours, fives, sixes, sevens, all season. One thing I will say about Liverpool, though, is their defence is just as bad as ours. They're great going forward. They're a joy to watch at times. And I'm sure Liverpool fans are over the moon with that front three or four that they have at the minute. But their defence is very leaky um, they should have gone all in for Van Dijk in the summer, but they didn't. And they've got Dejan Lovren there, who, in my opinion, is nowhere near good enough to play in the Premier League, let alone play for Liverpool. He's a red card waiting to happen. He's rash. And, yeah, I think we should be targeting him all day long. Now, Arsenal. Um, we narrowly got a win against West Ham the other night. Um, we're into the quarterfinal, no, semi-finals of the League Cup. And guess what? We got Chelsea. So we now have to play Chelsea three times in six games. I think it works out three times in three weeks. Um, we've got them twice in, uh, sorry, all three times in January. We've got them 3rd of January. I think we've then got them, I think we've got Nottingham Forest and then we've got them again. Um, and then we've got a couple of games and then we have them again. Um, yeah, I'm quite looking forward to that. Three, three games against Chelsea in the space of three weeks should be good. It's going to be interesting. And let's not forget, last season, we did beat them in the FA Cup final. Now, I know a semi-final is completely different because it's based over two legs. But we are away from home first. So, I'm quite happy with that. I think we can beat them. All the people that I've seen saying that, you know, all the Chelsea fans I see saying that they're already in the final. Nah. Wind your necks back in, people, because this ain't over yet. Although saying that, don't really matter who gets to the final. City will pull our pants down anyway. Now, on to my preview of this game. Um, I think it's going to be a high-scoring game because I see both teams that can attack, but both teams that can't fucking defend to save their lives. Um, we've got so many shit players defensively at the minute. They're bang out of form, a lot of our players. Koscielny being one of them, Bellerin definitely one of them. Um, we keep dropping Kalasanak, although he did play against West Ham the other night. Um, not sure whether that means Maitland-Niles is going to play against Liverpool. Um, and I really hope he doesn't. As much as I rate the boy, I think that's a step too far too soon. I don't think he should be allowed to be paired up against Mane or Salah. I think that could be bad for him. Um, not taking anything away from Maitland-Niles, as I've said, I do actually really rate the kid, but a bit too soon for him. Um, Liverpool's defence, Dejan Lovren, <laughs> like I said a minute ago, um, Pony, Mignolet, Pony, um, they're the two weak points in that defence. Matip's not a bad player, but again, another one who's not good enough to be at Liverpool, in my opinion. But I'm sure Liverpool fans have put me, wrong, uh, put me right if I'm wrong. Anyway... All that being said, I am now going to get into my 1-11 to for this game. And I am going to mix shit up again. Um, I am going with Petr Cech in goal. Petr Cech needs to fix up um, because he's been pretty poor this season. Although he did save us a few times against Newcastle in our last league game. Um, so yeah, fair credit to him. I am going with five at the back. And I am going with Kalasanak at left wing back. I have no idea why this guy was dropped from the starting 11 in the first place. Um, just seems like he was just, well, there you go. Go and sit with the reserves. It, don't add up. Um, the only thing I am looking at is that maybe Wenger said, well, look, you've come from Germany. Germany, they have a winter break. So we'll give you a couple of games off here and there over the Christmas and New Year period. 
Um, that's the only thing I can see. But he's our best player in defence, so why would you drop him? So for me, he's back in the team. Right wing back, Tatar, the Spanish Justin Hoyt. You can fuck off because Dibucci is getting in my team. Yes, Dibucci. Yes, I've slagged him off. Yes, I said he should have left in the summer. Yes, I said he's nicking a living. But he's starting to play games now. Um, last season he wasn't. So he was nicking a living. Um, but yeah, I'm going to put Dibucci in my team. I thought he was probably our best player the other night against um, West Ham. He set up the goal. He can defend, which Bellerin can't. He can attack and cross balls, which Bellerin can't. And he's more physical than Bellerin. So why play Bellerin? The back three... I'm going to go with Callum Chambers. I thought he was fantastic the other night. Although saying that, West Ham didn't really come forward. But when they were lofting them high balls into Andy Carroll, he was up there winning headers against Andy Carroll. And that is not an easy thing to do. Um, so I think he deserves a go. Um, I am also going with Koscielny. I think this is his last chance for me, personally. I think he's been bang average all season. He is an ageing footballer. And he's got an Achilles problem. We should be looking to get this guy out of the team anyway. Next to him, I'm going with Nacho Monreal, who I don't think is a, a centre-back, although he has played very well this season, in a three at the back. In a two at the back, two centre-backs, he's been bang average. So hopefully he can play really well in this game with a three at the back. Moving on to midfield, another one who impressed me the other night was Francis Coquelin. So he's going in over Granite Xhaka. Tata Granite. Um, next to him, I am putting Jack Wilshere. Jack Wilshere didn't play in the game the other night against West Ham. And I fully expect him to start this one. I think he started the last two or three league games. So, yeah, fair play to him. He's upped his game. He's fit. Play him. Now, the two behind the main striker. I am going with Mesut Ozil who scored fucking won the goal, goal of the month, probably up there for goal of the season, if I'm being honest. Um, so yeah, he's really impressed this season. Only a handful of bad performances. Um, other than that, he's actually done all right this season. Now, next to him, I am going with Danny fucking Welbeck. Purely and simply because Alexis Sanchez can't be fucking bothered to play for this football club anymore. So if he can't be bothered, I can't be bothered to pick you, bruv. Sorry, love ya, but nah, you ain't getting in my team this week. Danny Welbeck is. After scoring one of the scrappiest goals you'll ever see against West Ham, typical Danny Welbeck style, he is now in my team. And I feel that if we play him, he's more direct than Sanchez at times. He just gets the ball and runs. Um, Sanchez always tries cutting back in. And I think Danny Welbeck can stretch that defence and hopefully leave gaps for the midfield runners. Now, the main striker... With Giroud limping off with a hamstring injury the other night, that only leaves Danny Welbeck and it only leaves Lacazette. Obviously, I've started with Danny Welbeck, so Lacazette is starting in this game. We also then have Alexis Sanchez on the bench um, and we'll have good options on the bench. We could bring Xhaka on if needed, um, Sanchez like I've just said. And we, we've got a couple of defenders on the bench as well. If we're winning the game and want to shore it up and go to a 7 or 8 at the fucking back. But that's my 1-11 to 11 for the game. Like I said, I do see this being quite a high scoring game. I am going with Arsenal 3, Liverpool 2. Um, I am going to go with Lacazette first goal as well. Um, I think that... He'll be fired up for this one, especially missing out at Anfield earlier in the season. He was benched for that game, as was Kalasanak. Um, so yeah, he had the raging up when he got substituted against Newcastle. Ripped his gloves off and threw him at Arsene Wenger's feet. Um, so yeah, he's going to be fired up. Hopefully he's going to play 90 minutes in this game because I really want to see him do that. Um, it must be so frustrating for him to be the main man at a club. You're playing every game, every minute of every game. And then you come to Arsenal and for some reason the fucking deluded dinosaur don't think you can play 90 minutes. Well, I do, bruv. You're our best striker. You're in my team. And for me, you'll play 90 minutes. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Subscribe, like, share. Absolutely smash the like button to pieces. That always gets me along the way. Um, leave your comments down below. And don't forget, you can follow my Twitter at LeeGunner82 and also my Instagram, LeeGunner82. I'm out of here. 
Laters, peeps.